My name is Neil Stewart. I'm a third generation blacksmith. I've worked all over London. I can walk around any area in East London and find work that I've done. I would say I probably burn myself minor burns once a week. I've, I've ripped fingers off and had them stitched back on again. I, I've broken toes, you know. There's a lot of occupational hazard with blacksmithing, a lot. I had an inherent love of, of the work and I don't know where that came from. I guess it could be genetic. I worked with my father. Uh, my father was a, um, a blacksmith and from my earliest memories of, of the trade, I was holding bits of metal for my father, uh, filing, doing all the mundane jobs that he didn't want to do and, and getting a boot out the backside often. <laughs> my father trained uh, uh, as a blacksmith from, from his father and he was very well thought of in the trade. Due to the deindustrialization in the 70s, a lot of the heavy industry failed and closed and that left hundreds and hundreds of industrial blacksmiths out of work and a lot of them, including myself, went on to do artistic blacksmithing, working with artists, working with designers, working with architects. <laughs> I know what my father would have thought of what I do today. Well, my father would have thought of it as being definitely inferior to his, his work, and he always did. You know, he thought anything I did was inferior to his work, but um, that, was the, that was the way, that was the way of it. That was how, how young, young people learn. You know, they aspire to be as good as their father. Well, I, I think a black, the blacksmith's tradition generally is to pass on the trade, either through apprenticeship or through family connections. I have a grandson, which I've got fantastic hopes for. Unfortunately, he's only five at the moment, so, you know, but he's coming to stay with me for a week next week, and he's gonna be in here. He's gonna be, be in here watching me. The way that I've grown up um, in the RAF, we have always known everybody who lives close to us and it's just been a very natural thing for me. I think London can be quite isolating. Um, I think a lot of people come here and they come here for work and so that's what they do. They work really, really hard all hours of the day um, and that's exactly what I was doing. 